I thought I would shoot a video to explain why we actually bought the rangeline. With all the videos I've been making about modifying the rangeline and fixing problems, you might get the impression that I don't like it, which is far from the truth. I bought the rangeline because I liked it. So I thought it'd be worth doing a video of why I actually bought the rangeline and why I actually do love it and why I'm putting all this effort in to make it even a little bit better. Let's start with the chassis itself. So for our purposes, we wanted something that was fairly small and compact that could park in a regular parking spot. Uh, not a larger type RV. And really it's mostly just gonna be me and my wife. So we wanted something small. So we wanted a compact van chassis. Um, in the compact van chassis, there's basically three options. You have the Dodge chassis, the Ford chassis, and the uh, Mercedes chassis. Of the three, we liked the Dodge chassis the most. It's slightly more compact feeling. Um, it, it drives more like a car, uh, and it just really fit our needs better. The exterior styling is really nice, and Airstream, unlike some of the others, went out of their way to try and keep things subtle. There's no large ports on the side of the van like you see with some of the other models. The Rangeline came with an available pop top, which was one of the things we were looking for. Most of the time, it will just be me and my wife running around in the range line, but occasionally we wanted to have a couple of our kids along with us, so having the optional pop top was a big plus for us in selecting it. The range line has one fuel system, which is really nice. Most of the other Class Bs uh, also have a propane fuel system, which handles the heating and the stove. With the range line, everything runs off of the unloaded fuel, so you don't really have to worry about it, and it's actually more compact, it takes up less space in the van. The Dodge ProMaster chassis has a lot of nice things going for it. I like the big screen display. The offline maps is a big plus because, you know, we have Android Auto, but we go a lot of places where there is no cell coverage, so having the offline maps is good. Uh, wireless charger, ton of cup holders, generally large amount of space. Um, we're all big pluses for the Dodge chassis. The biggest reason that we chose the Airstream range line was for the cabin floor plan. We saw a lot of different cabin floor plans on the Class Bs, uh, and there were pluses and minuses to each, but the main things that we wanted were maximum amount of usable space, up to four passengers, uh, and the range line really ticked all of those boxes. Some of the different floor plans we saw that we didn't like as much, um, in some of the Class Bs, they had the kitchen area over here uh, behind the driver, and that basically meant that they really didn't have room for passengers. Another variation we saw was moving the bathroom up right behind the driver, and that really meant that this space was completely unusable. Uh, and you know, having the driver's seat turn around to face the bathroom wall, just not that useful. Another pretty common thing that we saw was moving the bathroom all the way to the back of the van. And while that did give a little more space to the bathroom, what it basically meant is the back doors were now completely useless. And it's kind of weird and ridiculous to have your back doors open onto the bathroom. Uh, so we didn't like that at all. So overall, we were really more interested in a van that had the bed in the back, that had passenger seats and a living area where the front could be used. Uh, and we liked the kitchen layout where it was next to the sliding door. So you could open the door and have the screen door and be able to look, look outside while you're working in the kitchen. Uh, some other models had uh, the refrigerator in a slightly different place. We saw um, the Solus, for example, has the refrigerator where it can be accessed from the outside. And while that is nice, uh, the problem is Making the refrigerator accessible from the outside makes it less accessible from the inside. And it also meant that the refrigerator ended up being quite a bit smaller than the refrigerator unit on the range line. The range line just had a ton of features. Basically, it checked every box in terms of all the different things it had. The solar panel for the electric uh, inverter. It's got an electric cooktop, microwave, a very big refrigerator. Uh, and lots of just little nice features throughout the van that many of the other Class Bs just didn't have or you had to buy as an option. 
In a van like this, space is super critical, and any waste of space is something to be avoided. We saw some van layouts where the kitchen or the bathroom was up here near the front, and that just seemed to completely waste the front cab area here. There's not much point in having a seat that turns around if you're just turning around to face the wall of the bathroom. The way the range line has laid this out, this space becomes kind of the heart of the van. This is basically the living space. It's the lounge, the kitchen, uh, and the dining area. The range line also has uh, a full black water tank system in addition to the gray water tank system, so it's not a cassette toilet. It's actually a real full toilet. So that was a big plus for us. The overall build quality of the Airstream range line was also better than a lot of the other vans that we looked at. Just the uh, cabinet quality, the locking drawers, and I personally am not a fan of shakes and rattles, which we saw in a lot of the other vans. And well, we have seen some manufacturing defects and glitches, and there is the occasional squeak that I do try to uh, nail down and eliminate. By and large, the Airstream lane, range line is a cut above in quality compared to some of the others that we looked at. And that was one of the reasons why we chose it. There were some units that had a fairly similar layout to the range line. Uh, the Solus and the Thor Sequence uh, are examples of that. Uh, the Thor Sequence had an interesting rear arrangement. Uh, they had set up where the table and a kind of bench seat layout made this area livable in the back, which I kind of liked, but it did mean that the rear was not really usable for any sort of storage the way you can do by folding up the bed in the Solus in the range line. Also, the quality of workmanship on the Thor seemed to be a little bit less than that on the range line. The Solus has a very similar layout uh, to the range line. And as a matter of fact, I like the bed arrangement better on the Solus. Uh, but overall, the floor plan of the range line was better for our needs. The electronic control systems, while some people have reported having some trouble with them, was another big plus for the Rangeline series. Having everything controlled through the one Firefly unit and the heater unit compared to completely different control sets for the different subsystems that we saw in some of the other vans was a big plus. Having everything run off of either unleaded gas or electricity was another one of the reasons we chose the Rangeline. Of course, we did get a little bit of a rude surprise with the uh, galley outlet not being able to power, be powered off of the inverter, but that was something I was able to correct with a little bit of electrical rewiring. The ProMaster cabin feels relatively spacious. It's easy to maneuver between the seats to get from the front and the back. The rotating seats work reasonably well, and uh, we're able to use this space as living space up front. The electronic rearview mirror is super handy. It's the primary mirror that I use, uh, and having that available was a big plus for this van. The outside mirrors also give really good coverage. I've learned to trust the uh, blind spot warning indicator, and the lower curved mirrors really help when backing up to see where the rear of the van is. The Dodge Promaster has a ton of storage up front, two glove compartments, lots of little cubbies, tons of cup holders, and the cell phone charger. So all in all, a really good layout. So that was our reasoning and why we decided to buy a range line. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, what have you found compared to other vans and what do you like or dislike about those vans?